Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Cybersecurity Tips. In this episode, we are going to talk about why passwords are not enough to protect your online accounts and data, and what are some of the best alternatives to passwords that you can use to enhance your security and convenience. Passwords have been the most common form of authentication for decades, but they also come with many risks and challenges. For example, passwords can be weak, stolen, reused, forgotten, or compromised by hackers. According to a study by Verizon, over 80% of hacking-related data breaches are caused by poor or stolen passwords. So if passwords are the problem, how can we go passwordless? Well, there are many password alternatives that can offer better security and user experience than password RDS. Let's take a look at five of them. 1. Biometrics Biometrics are unique physical or behavioral characteristics that can be used to identify and verify a person. Examples of biometrics include fingerprint face iris, voice or palm recognition. Biometrics are hard to forge, easy to use, and do not require memorization. However, biometrics also have some drawbacks, such as privacy concerns, false positives or negatives, and potential spoofing attacks. 2. Multi-factor authentication Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, is a method that requires two or more pieces of evidence to authenticate a user. These pieces of evidence can be something you know, such as a password or a PIN, something you have, such as a smartphone, or a security token, or something you are such as a biometric. MFA adds an extra layer of security to your accounts, as it makes it harder for hackers to access them with just one factor. However, MFA can also be inconvenient, as it requires additional steps and devices to log in. 3. What time passwords? What time passwords or OTPs are passwords that are valid for only one login session or transaction. OTPs can be generated by an app, a device, or a service, and can be sent to the user via email, SMS, or phone call. OTPs are more secure than static passwords, as they prevent replay attacks and password reuse. However, OTPs can also be intercepted, lost, or delayed, and may depend on network availability. For social signing, Social signing or social login is a method that allows users to log into a website or an app using their existing social media accounts, such as Facebook, Google, or Twitter. Social sign-in eliminates the need to create and remember multiple passwords and can also provide access to additional features and personalization. However, social sign-in also poses some risks, such as data sharing, account hijacking, or phishing. Fivid Security Key Authentication Security Key Authentication, or SK, is a method that uses a physical device, such as a USB key or a smart card to authenticate a user. The device contains a cryptographic key that is used to prove the user's identity to the service. Sky is very secure as it prevents phishing, malware, and men in the middle attacks and does not rely on any third-party service. However, SCA can also be costly as it requires users to purchase and carry the device and may not be compatible with all services or devices. These are just some of the password alternatives that you can consider to improve your online security and convenience. Of course, no authentication method is perfect, and each one has its own advantages and disadvantages. The best option for you may depend on your needs, preferences, and threat model. You can also combine different methods to achieve a balance between security and usability. That's all for today's episode of Cybersecurity Tips. Thank you for listening. And stay tuned for more tips on how to protect yourself and your data online. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, or share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cybersecurity content. See you next time.